This video is about how to select columns in SQL. Now that we're set up to uh, run SQL queries in the portal.sqlite database, we'll start to learn uh, about SQL itself. And the first thing we'll learn is how to select columns from a table in a database. And so this is just like the select statement in dplyr. In SQL, by convention, we type commands in all capital letters. And then I'm going to type asterisk here. And asterisk just means select all columns from the table. And then in SQL, we have to tell it which table we want to get the data from just like we provide the table name as the first argument in a select statement in dplyr. In SQL, we do this with the from keyword and then the name of the table. And so this says select all of the columns from the surveys table. And if we click the preview button over here, this command will run in the database. And what we can see is We've got our data coming back. It looks like the surveys table that we've seen before with month, day, and year, plot ID, species ID, sex, and some measures of size. If we want to select a subset of columns from this table, we specify the names of the columns we want instead of the asterisks. And so let's just get the date data. So we'll get the year column, and then the month column, and then the day column. And then we can hit preview again. And we'll see now we just have those columns that we asked for. Also, like in dplyr, we can do calculations inside of the select statement. So let's also add the species ID and the hind foot length to this query, but let's represent the hind foot length in a different unit and divide it by 10 before we present it. And we can hit the preview button or control shift enter is the keyboard shortcut to run this whole file, just like it is for our files. And we can see that we've now got the species ID and our hind foot length, but it's been divided by 10 because these were like 32, 33, and so on in the original data. Uh, and we can also use functions in here. SQL has a number of different functions, uh, including things like round. And so if we type the round function, and then we include our hind foot length divided by 10, it will now round these by default to the nearest integer, but we can also specify how many decimal places we wanted to round to. So that's how to select columns in SQL. We Start with the select keyword, which we type in all capitals by convention. Then the names of the columns that we want to select. We can include calculations and functions like round directly in the select statement. And then we tell it which table in the database we want to run this query on using from and then the name of the table. You get a database, you get a database, you get a database, everyone gets a database.